Hi, I'm Ray, and I'm in the garden, and I'm having a look at my plants. And as a gardener, I'm always looking to increase my garden collection of flowers and plants. And being a allotmenter, I'm always on a bit of a scrounge, looking for the recycled items, for items that have got a yellow label. And one of my favourite things to do is to try and recover some of the items. So I'm always looking on Marketplace, on Gumtree, Freecycle, even in the local supermarkets, on the hardware stores, for plants that I can take on, look after and grow on. And I've had some really good purchases recently. Just thought I'd show you a few. And these, my succulents, and these are uh, such a lovely plant. These were normally five pounds. They were reduced to one pound twenty-five. And I've got quite a few different ones. They're very dry. Some of them, the pots have cracked. But the succulent in the plant is really good. Really good. And I've got quite a few. I actually picked up seven of these, different shapes, different styles. We even picked up these hyacinths, 20p, instead of two pounds. Okay, they are dying, but once they're deadheaded, we can plant the bulbs for next, next season. And that'd be ideal. Just put them in a pot sorted. We bought these mini roses from Valentine's Day and we potted it out, gave it a trim. They were looking really, 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 really sad. But fortunately, it's been overwatered by the kids and just giving it a drain. But it's been really, really useful. So when you're looking at items in the shop, it's always good to have a look, see whether they're sprouting some green shoots, and whether it's likely to survive or not. So this parsley is just dry as anything. All it needs is a bit of water. You can just feel the pot is so light. If it was heavy, like this one, you'd really notice a difference if this has got water in and this hasn't. So that's always a good sign to look for. Have a look at the roots, see if it's pot bound. Maybe just a bit of water and that'll be fine. We also picked up this, which I believe is a jasmine. I don't even see anything wrong with that. But it was like one pound. So this can go in the garden somewhere. It's really dry. But it just needs to soak in the water. And my purchase yesterday was this. Well, I haven't got a clue what it is. And it's dry as old bones. But I'm going to put it in some water and see if it recovers. So yesterday I was looking through Gumtree and there was a lady offering some raspberry canes and I, I dug up on my recent raspberry canes because they were just uh, just crazy and out of hand and she offered some raspberry canes. I thought, well, that was a good opportunity to get some more. So I went down and visited her on her allotment and she literally dug them out the ground while I was there. And these are really healthy. I'm not getting down to the allotment this weekend, so I'm going to put these into a bucket. I'm just going to cover them with a bit of soil so we can get them down during the week. And that's also another great opportunity to get some extra plants. So while I was visiting May down her allotment, 
for the raspberry canes. She also offered me some primula. This is a wild primula and it needs a bit of a sort out. This list literally dug it out of the ground and handed it me. It's a great opportunity to get some extra plants. And then also, if I wanted a foxglove. And they're looking really good. And also some oxtail, some ox eye daisy. And these can be split apart. I'm going to grow some of these. I'll get the wild effect on the allotment. So I'm going to sort these out this afternoon. On another preset, got some of this black grass. It looks really tall. And this was in one large clump. And we've put it all in separate parts. And also, we've got this plant here. And we potted this on. And since we potted that on, it looks so much healthier. Not quite sure what this one, whether it's stock. I'm not quite sure. We've got these two at the back. And these were in a real bad state. And this one in the front. And we got rid of all the old dead leaves. We've got some young shoots coming through. And similar to this one. And we've got this phlox, this white phlox that came in a great big clump. And we split it all up and put it in those individual pots. This is going to go into the wild flower garden. Different ways that you can get extra plants for free or cheap. But the next project is to look after this one. So if you're new to my channel then please subscribe, ring that bell, get notifications and see if I actually grow this plant on whether it just dies. Cheers! <laughs>so the total cost is six pounds for the free items and the yellow item labels and it's attracting the bees